Someone created the comic book business as an experiment and they sold like hotcakes. Batman came out of nowhere. The Sandman, the Spirit. It was just a wild party of all kinds of adventurous comic strip. Until the hammer came down about comic books and juvenile delinquency. The sexy, crime-worshipping violence of certain comic books has come in for a lot of scathing criticism during the past couple of years. They created the Comics Code, which is really just a, a word for a censorship board. That practically drove most of the publishers out of business. A little satirical comic book called Mad. Mad's form of satire is to go against the grain, go in the opposite direction. I looked at that and said, what could I do for Mad that would compete with that? How about a cheap black and white fold in? My first one was such a very simple one that now when I think about it, it's embarrassing. I never thought that it could go to a second idea. You had Barry Goldwater and Nelson Rockefeller at microphones as if they're debating. And the question was, who's gonna really win out? And uh, when you fold it in, two lamps on either side turned into Richard Nixon. It sort of set the tone for what fold-ins would be from that point on. Right now, I'm 94 and a half years old. From a point of view of working, I don't feel any different than when I was 20 years old. Ideas and gags. I think I have idea books that would keep me busy till I'm 500 years old and I'm dying to get to them. Of course, I'll die before I get to them. It's a joy to be able to do the work and still be relevant long, long after most of your colleagues are gone.